Only my friend, our enemies are limitless. They do not stop charging towards us. One day I know we shall have peace, though it is not today. We have shed blood, but there is so much more to give. But I'm going to use my wealth to one day broker a new era of peace and prosperity for all. Not just for our family, but for all of Calradia. Salam. Much has happened in the interim after I conquered the city of Joculin, a city that I need to rename. Not sure to what yet, I'll have to think about it. But I am now earning a lot more money. I spent some time traveling the lands of Landia, trading my many horses. I have many left, too. I've earned hundreds of thousands of dinars from all of that. But not only that, let's have a look over here. I'm earning over 20,000 dinars every single day. I've got quite a few villages. We've got Chornad, Alorstan, Mot, and Aramak. Aramak is not making a lot. Mot, only 700. Alarstan, 1400. Chornad, 2700. And my city of Joculin, over 7,000 dinars. My workshops are pulling in 8,000. My parties, 1400. My two caravans, 4,700 and 7,500. That is why I am making a lot of money. Unfortunately, the Batanians wanted to fight me, so I couldn't continue trading. I wanted to. I really, really did. Let's come over here real quick. We did capture someone. Hello there, Engalder. Haven't seen you for quite some time. Would you like to make another trading deal? Anyway. You know what? You are free, but naked. Goodbye. He's a little bit mad about that, but yet again, he's made another bad deal. I did also go to the lands of the Azurai to pick up Azurai recruits, which means I need to train them up. I've got to find some looters. The Batanias just declared war. Let's have a look at the map real quick before we move on. Let's just have a look over here. Okay, so they're making a new army. We've got down here the Azurai, which a lot of the Azurai clans have begun to join me. They like to be a lot. They still do too. The Western Empire is quite small, but they have some land. Maybe if they had Jalmaris, they would have like a good centric type of empire right in the middle of everything. Over here, the Northern Empire is still alive somehow. Only two major cities. They are isolated. They're basically two allied city-states. The Crusade. Oh, they took over Tayal. Interesting. And the Azurai have yet to have been conquered. I've got over 2 million dinars. I can get more. I'm going to get more. And also, I did change things up just a little bit. Let's have a look over here. I've got many parties. Roland, Khaled, Aurelia, and Sagittarius. In addition to my wife, they're all leading parties right now. I want them to enhance their skills, and I also just want them to go out there and add to our manpower. And you can see my many, many workshops. 1,800 in Sargat, 1,100 for a brewer. And Kuyaz, 1,800. Sonala, 1,500. Sonala again, but for an ironmonger, 720. And Askar, 1,600. I have never made so much money so easily and so quickly. It's been incredible. I spend so much too. I'm running out of high-tiered gear to buy for my companions. It's crazy. I just made over 30,000 dinars again. So what are we going to do today? Oh, and to go over what I did, many of you wanted my father-in-law from the Banu Saran to have more land. I understand that. So I gave him Shariz. I've moved over to Joculin. It's our new capital. It's very wealthy. Trust me, that was worthwhile, and I'll show you right now. My prosperity is at over 15,000. Okay? Shut is only 8,700. I moved over my soldiers, and I also have, let's see, I suppose I could get a new castle too, but now he has one castle and one town. He's doing very, very well. Who knows what we'll conquer in the future, but I do need a lot more influence. To get a lot more, I'm going to have to go fight some battles. Azel of the Azariah has escaped from captivity. Well, good. Let's go back down over here and sell maybe a few wares. I've got to train up all of my mini recruits. Now, what helmet could you have for me? It could be the one that I took from him. I don't want to wear his helmet. As I told you before, I'm not going to wear core pieces of armor that belong to other factions. That isn't for me. Oh, look at what you're wearing, Carias. He's going to stand out now. I mean, he did before, but now he's really going to stand out. How much armor is over here? 23, so not a lot. Mehmed, you've got 44. 46 for Jubal. 
Take some new boots and enjoy. Oh, hold on. You also need a new horse. There. Have what you want. You deserve it. Altair, take your new helmet. That's very fancy. That's very fancy indeed. All right. So you'll take some new mittens, 25 armor. Your shields are fine. I like my sword. I'm back to using my glaive and my throwing weapons as well. I'm going to keep my armor. I'm going to sell the rest of it real quick. 34,000. And over here, a little bit more. What about there? I know. I'm going to keep that shield for now. Those two shields. The rest of it can go away. I've made 44,000 more dinars. Okay. I can leave again. Let's go find a major looting party or whoever that we can fight. Yeah, there's a new army they're building up. I'm going to send out a few of my boys later to go handle some jobs, but not right now. I know there's major parties out there. I would like to take a new castle too. Though buying castles, oh, that's so much better in my view. I can buy castles and just make so much money from all of it. Mountain Bandit, 69. 30,000. Wow. Again, I'm just making 30,000 per day. No longer do I need to constantly just trek out there. Oh, you're trying to go after one of mine. Aaron. Aaron. Get over here, Aaron. There we go. 218 looters close by. Thank you for leading me to that. Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are anyway. Okay, I don't care who you are. We're going to fight now. You're in my waters now, by the castle of Wusur, and that secret land you are not fit to walk upon. You are not fit. Now, I have many recruits, so I've got to be mindful of them. I really, really do. Let's get over here. They updated the game recently, and we're going to see how that all plays out for me. All right. I've got a lot of horsemen. Group 5, join group 1 again. You know the usual traditions. How are many traditions? Group 4, come over here. Actually, come follow me. Horsemen, you too. Infantry over here. I've got three archers. All right. No, I'm going to trade up a lot more. Don't worry about it. All right. Very good. They're not coming towards me, which means I need to go out towards them. Let's go out and ride. Oh, they've got a dense formation. Now, what are we going to do? I've got horse archers. I've got a few of them. And so we go out to make a new name known amongst their enemies. Nice shielding there, pal. Nice shielding there. Mehmed, good job. He does have a bow, if I remember correctly, so he'll probably hit a few of them. Let's go back out. Batanians have always been pretty rough for me to fight, so we'll see if we can get them too. That's a big guy. I got him. I got their lord. That should change things up just a little bit. All of you advance right now. Horsemen, you know what to do. Oh, great throwing weapons, by the way. That was wonderful. Let's go back over here. Horse archers, you can go out and attack on your own. You don't need me for that, do you? I think not. Come on. Oh, he hit me for 45 damage. All right, just charge in now. Now I'm just mad. Oh, I just got two of them. Ha ha ha. Time to circle around again. The Sultanate does not take kindly to your uh, intervention here. I was trying to trade and to build a new land, and here you are trying to raid and destroy. It will not be permitted. By the way, I did hold a major faction vote, and the Batanians did win, so I'll be coming up with a concept for that. Should be quite a bit of fun. After that, there's only two factions left that I have yet to play, the Kuzate and the Vlandians. I'm going to do them all. It shall be done. There are many more stories to tell, but the story of Suleiman is not yet complete, though I will tell you, out of all three, I feel like all of my knowledge of the game has really reached its apex right here. There's always more to learn and adapt to, but so much has just built up to where we're at now. Okay. 60 units can be upgraded. Karai has got six kills total. Xena, one. Eight kills for me. Mehmed, three kills. I'm thinking about having a few companions in the very beginning of my Batanian game, like a very small band of very talented archers. Okay, Aaron, you are my prisoner now, but of course I'm always open to input and ideas. I shall... Actually, let's go back real quick. I'm going to take all of you. But I want, again, a lot of archers. I'm here to train up archers today. 
just as many as I can get. I've got a few Batanians. I'm going to turn them into clan warriors. And over here, I'm going to turn you into... Let's see. I don't really know too much about your trees right now. A Falksman, a Wildling, a Mounted Skirmisher, a Batanian Horseman. Ooh, I've sworn. Very shiny. Yeah, we could go down there, I suppose, if we wanted to. Now, I want more horsemen. I like my horsemen. Let's grab a raider, then. I've got 50 tribesmen now. I'll take all of your loot. These horses are not cheap. They do sell for a lot. They make me a lot of money. Now, let's come over here. Before we even do that, let's go buy a village. What do you need? You need access to the Aber... Okay, no. You don't get that today. If you called it Wasur Castle, like its proper name, then maybe. Hold on now, what's over here? Did I level up anything at all? I did not. Now, my steward skill did get up to 51. I did change my clan steward to myself, which means I'm missing out on like a few troops, like 20 or 30. But I wanted to train up my own skill. Like over here, look at that. 30% more production from farms. Back over here, 10% more tax from villages. I need more stewardship, so I'm trying to work on that right now. Okay, none of you have abilities that I need to really look at. So over here. Yeah, see? I can lead 12.8 more. Very good. Now, let's go over to the looters again. Trust me, I love this game so much. You're going to be seeing me here for a very long time. There are always more stories to tell, more concepts, more ideas, more adventures to be had. Okay, now, 218 to kill. Infantry well, let's do that. Archers. Archers advance. Group 5, join group 1. Infantry group 1, advance right now. Horsemen move far, far away. Move. Very far away. Let's move together. Let's fight together. I've got some javelins. I've taken some damage. They dealt a lot of damage to me in only one swing. Well, good job. Whoa. There we go. Let me turn back around. I'm going to keep my shield up. They're all coming for me. That's a lot. I love that metallic sound so much. It just, it really appeals to me. Oh, that was a bad twist of my torso. I'm going back around. You can't stone me. What a way to go. If that was the way I went, oh, I would have to laugh just a little bit. I haven't used javelins in so long, so I'm trying to get used to it again. Oh, I think I'm getting the gist of it. Yeah. So the boys are going back in. Performance is feeling better. I was having a few issues last time, but it's feeling much better now. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go back through. I don't want to get too many kills on my own. I'm just trying to make sure that my soldiers are training up because I need better soldiers. That's how I avoid heavy casualties in a lot of fights. I mean, you can't really change that in siege battles. Though right now, I can't really lead a siege battle largely because I don't have the influence for it. I need a lot more influence. So that'll take time. Now, if they're fleeing, then I'm more than free to just slice up whoever I want. I've lost 10. There are 40 wounded. We're still fighting many. Everyone charge in. You just wait until I get all of my archers. Oh, that's going to make such a big difference. I'll probably use the Batanians in melee. I'll use my own archers and horsemen if I can. I'll go back to hire some more mercenaries if I need to supplement my numbers later on. Okay, so I lost 10, 45 wounded. Xena got 8 kills. Karai is 7 kills. Oh, Xena actually did it. Okay, nice. I've got fewer companions in my party, but it somehow works in my view. It works out very well. It's been a wonderful campaign. I look forward. I think about Suleiman so much. I've even thought about bringing all of my Bannerlord characters over to Skyrim, modding it out and having different stories and concepts, but they would like be transported to a new world or something crazy like that. I don't know. You guys can always let me know what you think, but I've got so many ideas. I'm just so impassioned about this game. I love it so much. I can't wait to see it just improve and improve more. Okay, I've got some archers finally. Okay, clan warrior over here. We've got our soldiers. I want more horsemen. We've got plenty of horsemen. Oh, I've got too many prisoners. I've got Aaron as well. Well, maybe if Born came back. All right, let's go over to Talavol Castle. I've got to go turn in some soldiers, some people. 2.49 million dinars. Let's go to the dungeon. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to enter this. <laughs> Let's go back out. Hold on. I'm not done yet. All right. 
Are they not going to let me deposit? I think I'm being a little bit crazy here. Did I forget how to freaking deposit a bunch of these prisoners? Let me try again real quick. Okay, so we're going to the dungeon. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll try Worcester Castle. Yeah, people are beginning to like me more. If one didn't like me, maybe one of their friends... I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, let's see. There we go. That's what I wanted. Take them all. That puts me at 229. Amalgan, what are you doing here? Hold on. Can I get them out? No, I, I don't have control. Huh. Oh, your faction joined. You're kidding me. And Galder joined the Azurai. Now that's really funny. You crazy old man. You've got a few kids. Jeez. Too many kids. Let's go look at my children. Actually, hold on. Am I considered to be your enemy? Huh. Svana. Oh, she's dead. I, I can't believe that still. Tayeska died too. All right. We're back over here. I'm 34 now. You can see all of my many friends. We sort of died. We know of that. I have three enemies. One is a king. Kalatild, Aaron as well. All right. Here we go. Six years old. Only six. All right. So you're at Shut Is? Really? I don't believe that for a moment. We've got a lot who have been injured. So I've got to go just wander around. There's Aurelia. She's my blacksmith. So she doesn't really have like a little group role. Northern and Southern Empires are no longer fighting. What's over here now? No quest at all. Very well. So we can go buy a few locations, pick up a few more Batanians. I'd rather get some mercenaries. But I've got to use a few... Well, not Batanians. Sorry. Blandians. To minus two. Okay. That potter is beginning to like me more. What job do you need? I'm always going to check on my locals. To Legetta. You want me to deliver a herd to Legetta? While I'm healing up some people, I can help you out. Let's go talk to him real quick. Rakim, I can help you. See, now we have Azrai here. Now, if I let one of my companions do it, it'll take way too long, and I don't want that. We have many influential landowners who live around here, you see. All right. I left the Roy. I'll take a few of those. I'm filled up now. Let's go sell some loot. I've got some loot to sell, don't I? Yeah, for sure. I'll sell a bit more of it. 13,000. And over here, there's a lot of loot that I probably don't need. Let's see, no, these do not sell for too much, so I'm not going to sell them here. Not even the mules. The half scale barding. I mean, mine is very good. Got to have good armor for my horse. Okay. So now we're going to Legetta. Let's see. Western Empire is joining their allies, Sturgia, in the war against the Southern Empire. The Crusade and Western Empire are no longer fighting. These alliances and everything else really make a huge difference. That mod I use, which I do have a link down below, of course, just as a reminder, it now has been updated to show alliances right over here. It's really cool. So we can see who I'm allied to, the Azurai. They have a lot more total strength. Okay. Let's see. I'm not fighting the, the Northern Empire right now. But Tania, what's up? You're fighting quite a few factions and Wolfskins too. They're pretty tired of war already. They've lost a lot more than I have. I did beat one party on my own. Yeah, Varian Castle is what I want, but I wanted to buy it. I've got the money for it. And I'm not going to fight a new battle against looters just yet. I'm not ready for that. Okay, who do I need to talk to, by the way? I need to go talk to... Turiados. Turiados! Let's chat. So what is my endgame goal? I think, really, it would be to... Conquer the lands of the Vlandians and Batanians. After that, we could see where we're at. But the Empire... I'm not fond of them. Sturgians? Kuzate? They could do what they want to. And I would like to buy some lands in the Azerite lands. I mean, that just makes sense. If I could buy a few lands over here, I would be very happy. I'm trying to avoid fighting them. I would rather not fight them at all. But those are some of my ideas on what could be like really good in-game goals for us. All right, let's see. What else do we have? I've got some cotton. What else do we have? 
Got some fish, some hogs. Those aren't great. Now, what about my mounts? I'll sell a few of those, sure. I'll sell some desert horses too. I've got plenty, as I told you before. We'll bring it down to 315. The mules are 222. I'll sell down to 270. That gives me 31,000 dinars. And I'm still going to make more money. I'm not done making money yet. Here's the rock. We'll talk to him. And I could even get more towns. I do want two towns kind of close together, so I'll probably keep the lands over in Western Vlandia for myself. Here you go. I don't need it. Oh, he likes me so much more. 11 to 21 is a big, big difference. In these foreign lands, I've got to tell you, again, I do not want to follow the ways of these people. I do understand them. I respect them, but they are not for me. My own culture, where I've come from, that is what I'm going to follow, even though I am currently in foreign lands. All right, so we have still 19 who are wounded. I'm going to Sargat. I need to find out where are our armies going right now. Iterberg. Okay. So right over here. That's pretty close. There is Sagittarius. I've got so many party members who can join me off the cuff, so I could just have all of my party members join me if I really needed something like that. All right, I'll take all of his mercenaries. Thankfully, we can have some. And we're just going to camp out here until everyone is patched up. I refuse to go into all-out war unless I am forced to until I train up my men. Once they are trained up, then I assure you, we will go fight the Batanians. There could even be a peace treaty before then. If there is, I will try to find a lord to really talk to, and I'm going to buy land. Like over here, I would like to buy Hongard Castle. Hongard Castle is a castle that I want to own. It would give me more villages, more money, and it's a bit out of the way. All right, let's go back to the east now. You can see how clear my lands are. There are looter parties. There will always be looter parties, okay? They respond quickly. There's only so much that you can do until they add in the capability to buy patrols. But it's relatively clear. My lords have done a great job handling all of them. Okay, there's only 75 there, over 100. Now, that would be a very easy fight. Flandia is now allied to the Southern Empire. That should make our battles much... Oh my god! Did I find, like, Rogue's Alley over here? I would like to imagine it as that pass where all traders say, do not go down there. There's nothing but death and destruction. And so no one, no trader in their right mind goes down there. But now this trader is a sultan. Archers, okay, move, get over here. I want all of you into group one. Footmen, want a move, very long formation. Move, archers over here. Horse archers go out over there. Horsemen way out there too. I hope that all of my units are in the appropriate groups. I left the Roy crack me up, man. I love their gear. It's just so funny to me. Car Ice really stands out. I believe I have like the peak of what I can get in my own empire for gear. For most of what I have anyway. Archers, oh, they're following my horsemen. Archers. Then wait. Archers, look. Archers, archers, move horse okay, charge. go now. Footmen, infantry charge, charge in. Footmen. Look at those horse archers go now. All right, I'm moving too. I've got to. I'm going to get some kills with my throwing weapons. See, the cool part about throwing weapons, it's not meant to be a big focus. It's not meant to be, no. It's just kind of a quick thing you do for a quick few kills. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I love whenever they just go flying back whenever you throw a javelin at them. Oh, you could just see the impact of what you've done. It's actually interesting. I would like to imagine that it's Karayas who's been just training up all of these new recruits, and I feel bad for them. I wouldn't want to be trained by him. I was trained by old Sagittarius, and that was fine. But to be trained by uh, Karayas, that's a good way to die. So we'll keep on fighting through here. We're going to cleanse out a bunch of bandits, and we might lose a few more because of it. But again, I want to train up a good core group of soldiers. I've got horsemen. I've got camels. I've got many riders out here. I've got so much power, and <laughs> I just cut down three people. Oh my, I love this game! Let's go through. 
but on a serious note, it's going to be quite savage to see our own domain expand. Karaius is at four kills. Xena didn't kill anyone. I got 14. I am getting more. But more importantly, my soldiers, they are fighting and they are winning. Okay, so we're back over here again. Getting more skirmishers. Okay, a few more Batonians. I'll take just a few of them. I love their outfits so much. Anyway, there's a Forester. Master Archer. Doesn't take long to get there, you know. Anyone who's not Azurai will go towards infantry. Okay. And over here, more tribesmen. We'll take even more archers. Finally, I've been waiting for that. And again, more Mamluks. So, 1,900 dinars. A lot of loot has been gained. Now, I'll tell you what this campaign feels like. It feels like I have a firm understanding of the game and I can now play with it. And that all that knowledge has really paid off, which I'm just so pleased about. All right, let's see over here. Polearm 161. I need to get to 175. That's what I want right now. I also want to get to 125. They've been fixing more and more perks. I'm at level 22 currently. Everyone is just so powerful. Okay, let's go over here now. Now, that is a large group. I'll have to be mindful. That is a very large group of just many. Oh, what now? The enemy is not willing to fight and ask you to spare their lives. Of course, I'm not a butcher. It's just business. All right, so they surrendered. That's really interesting. I could just say no, but... So one group did give up, but for the rest of them... Now we're getting more banners back as we have more veterans. Archers! Okay. Group 5, again, group 1. I think for my current campaign, I probably won't have too many two-handers. When I play Batania, that's going to be very different. I'll have to technically learn how to use all of that. Because, I mean, one exposed attack from all of my different units, all of my different two-handers, they would easily get just shot apart. Imagine charging in with only two-handed units. It, it just wouldn't go well. It wouldn't go very well. Okay, I've got 91 cav. A lot more than I ever planned on getting. Let's go over here and let's grab a scan formation. And now I'm going out again. Grab that guy. 314 damage. My archers and horse archers, I want to see what they can do. Let's just see what they can do, huh? Turning back around. I don't want too many hitting me. My horsemen are not charging in yet. Hold on. There are a few coming at us over here. I killed another looter. Let's hit another one. Oh, not that time. But I got one over there. Okay. Advance and charge in now. My archers are doing their part. And even though there's only a small group here. Oh, here comes all the throwing weapons, by the way. They are doing just fine. Let's go out. Oh, I didn't hit him. Shoot, I was hoping to get the nice thrust in. And that's why I have a lot of kids. Too many children. No, I've got a sufficient amount. I didn't want to pull a soul and have like almost 20 kids. What's your name? I forgot. It's another dead looter. The horsemen are finishing off so many of them. The horse archers are as well. Imagine... You're a looter, and you're like, oh, he's so far. I would never face him, but I do know of him. And out of nowhere, you see the green regalia of my faction. That must be absolutely terrifying. Ooh. Did he hit me? He hit my mount. Okay. Back around. I haven't used my pole arm in so long. I want that plus two to damage. 284 for damage. Here's another one. 539. My God. Okay. Good job. There's Xena again. She's still using her crossbow. Let's go through them. Yeah, there's a few companions I'm keeping because of their combat prowess and a few others because of their clan roles. They have specialized skills I do not have. Altair. Do not die on me. I need you. Finding another medic? That can be challenging. All right. We're moving through now. Battles seem to take much longer now, which I'm not complaining about. That's a very nice thing. And it feels quite 
well, fluid. Smooth and fluid. Got 20 kills. Jubal, 4 kills. Lamed, 3. 3 wounded. See, now that we have archers, we're not losing nearly as many. I was able to upgrade a lot of my soldiers. Okay, so I'm going to take what's over here. Hmm. It's a lot of looters. My god. I'll take a few armed traders, I think. Yeah. Upgrade everyone. Actually, let's reset that real quick. I'll take the prisoners. I don't have the room for it. You don't need that many people to hold a large prisoner train, so I feel like you should be able to hold on to more, but that's just me. All right. And over here, more master archers. It doesn't take long to actually get there. They've got a bow skill of 160. Okay. I can do with that. Okay, what else do I want? Wish I had a very easy way to get my Ferris. Oh, those guys are so powerful, but they're hard for me to get. Take more of you. I'm way over my prisoner trains allotment, but that's okay. What I'm allowed to have. Oh, here we go. Throwing. 25. More accuracy. I have no focus points, and it's actually increasing. That can be hmm, a challenge. Let's get one more party. I know I'm doing so much more training, but I did pick up a very large group, and I'm getting a lot of skill points, too. So, And it's also, like, for me, I don't get bored of these fights. They're fun. They're just a lot of fun. And sometimes I do lose more, but now that I have, like, a slightly better army, I should, I should be okay. Step over! All right, loose formation. Footman. Only 37. Yeah. Artur. Wow. Join group one. Infantry Come over here. Move. You know what? I'm going to fight with these guys. I want my horse archers. Let's see. Horse, horse, archers, horse archers. I want you to scatter. Scatter. Okay, then I want you to charge. Infantry, come follow me. Horsemen, move far away. And let's see what we can do. It's 221. Look at my small group. I don't have nearly as many as I used to. I've got mostly horsemen and archers. That wasn't even fully intentional. It just kind of happened. Whoa, excuse me. All right, so the archers are going to take care of a lot of them. Especially now that a lot of them are just like following a bunch of lemmings. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Got one looter. That's another one. Let's just keep on. Oh, that dealt some damage to me. All right, charge in all of you. I'm gonna use my glaive now to just try to kill everyone over here. There's a few. Also, Suleiman, as a man who's worked hard, as a man who didn't really actually have a lot of opportunities, you get very few people who are actually self-made. Even then, I can't even say that. Suleiman had great friends. He is not entirely self-made. He is friend-made. But he doesn't really respect these people who do not try to build proper relationships and build up from there. He has no respect for looters at all. Xena's really on the ball lately. Four kills. I got 19. I'm just getting so many. And it's crazy because I began with a character here that had like no combat skills at all. And it took a lot of time, but I finally got here. All right, it's very... Nope, we, we won. That's it. Seven wounded. Great. 25 upgrades. For every upgrade, that could save multiple lives. I lost one, so I'll take one mercenary guard. I'm going to turn you into a skirmisher. I don't know why I'm building so many archers today, but I just feel the compulsive need to build a lot of archers. All right, you'll be footmen. We'll take you. I haven't tried a heavy type of group of archers. Not in a long time, so I kind of want to go down that route. Just see where it goes, you know? Yep, I'm over my limit. I know. I know. But I have taken out so many looters now. We just need to move back home. I'm nearly ready. Oh, Aaron was captured again. What a shame for him. But I... Cleaned out most of the major parties. There's only a few over here, but most of them are pretty beat up. Okay, if I could deposit these into that castle, that would be nice. Our castles are growing. My steward skill is now at 54. 
Let's see. Go to the dungeon. Donate to the dungeon. Take your prisoners. A lot got away. I'm at 370 now. What do you need, Thais? You need horses. Thais, my friend, you should know who I am. Your heart is glad to see me. I do not blame you. So you have a problem. What? Of course I can help you. What? Huh. All right, well, that happened. It's very strange to me to see that. Of course I can help. Hmm. Probably some bug, or maybe I can't do it as a faction leader. He's like, no, I can't have you do that. You're too blah, 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 too powerful, too important. No, never. I will always help. I help out local villages all the time, too. All right, there's Sargot. Oh, Bronok is attacking one of my... They got Roland. Interesting. Well, then. You've angered me. Sagittarius, be careful, old man. Don't you lose that. All right, where's he at? Do you have him? Is it you? Ah, there you are. All right, let's see if I can catch him. I don't think I can, but I'm going to try to. He just got five recruits. Where are you going? Don't you deposit him. Oh. I hate you with all of my being right now. I'll try to get to him. Okay. But a knock is who I need. There. Wait, did he just get away? He just... <laughs> You're kidding me. Roland, I just came to save you. <laughs> all right, fine. Let's fight. <laughs> he's like man I finally got away and I'm like really and I'm just like drenched in blood <laughs> okay Roland good for you buddy <laughs> alright let's see I don't know if they're going to come towards me we do have a hill though I'm going to use that hill got 44 archers 44 archers nice 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 okay horsemen over there horse archers I want you up here group 5 go join group 1 Infantry. Use your shields. Use your shields for sure. Yeah. Infantry. Right over here. Archers over here. Horsemen over there. Again, horse archers just move up here. Perfect. Perfect. Now, let the volleys loose upon them. Got a horse. Doesn't matter if I kill them or not. It's got to get their horses. Oh, man. Deadly. I got that mountain skirmisher too. They're just chasing me right now. Good. Chase me. Do it. No, I have fought so many battles outnumbered. Well, I outnumbered them. I've done so much in this game. Hundreds of hours already. So I know a little bit about it. Can I always learn more? Absolutely. I'm always open to new knowledge, more knowledge. It's how you grow. It's how you prosper. Ooh, in the head. I don't think I need to get them. I think they got them. Yeah. Nice shielding. Is that their lord? It might be. Alright. Get him out. <laughs> I got him. Now we're just waiting for the next group. See, the horse archers are shooting over their heads from a safe location. Here comes a new group. We're probably going to run out of arrows at the rate we're going, but that's okay. Blast your shields. Darn. That was not a good throw. That was a better throw. Good job, horsemen. I want all of you to move over there now. A lot of you have no shields. Volunteers. Oh, just look at what's happening. That is wicked and wrong. Look at what I've been doing. I've been going out here training up these people. They're sending in a bunch of untrained volunteers. I pity all of you. Okay. One foot now. Horsemen charge in. Infantry. Just advance. Oh, I was hoping to get him. I did not get him, though. 12 damage. Very well. Got that one volunteer. Here comes all the horsemen from behind. We've got too many horsemen. They are done. The killing fields before Rusur Castle. We are getting our vengeance. And I didn't have to really act in a very reckless way. I just had to do what I could. They've got some crossbows. I need to watch out for that. Oh, shield back out. 
That was a lot of damage. They have nice shields too. Ooh, 20 damage. It's not like they're just dealing a little bit of damage to me. They can deal a fair amount. Come on. If I don't get them, someone else shall. Get a very nice shield. Okay, seven dead, 19 wounded. Karais has six kills, Xena four kills. I got seven. Jubal one, Atayir one, Mehmed one. And we, well, I would say we got back Roland, but we did not. That did not happen. Okay. <laughs> nice makeup. All right, let's see. You too. Man, his eyes are so buggy and big. They kind of freak me out. I just went over here and captured three of their leaders trying to get back one of my own. All right, Vlandians, come on. Let's go. Time for you to fight for me. And let's see. Xena was nearly wounded. She was not, though. That's more mercenaries. Or archers. A new infantryman. Over here is an oath sworn. They're pretty strong. Yeah. They are tier five. Nice. And as I recruit, I'm going to take up a few more man. Well, actually, I should have just got more archers. Oh, well. There was very few that were in that group anyway that I just promoted. All right. I've got plenty of prisoners. I'm doing fine. I'm going to take the loot now, and we're going to try to get back home unperturbed. If we can just escort ourselves back on home without any issue... That would be very, very nice. Let's go over here again. Roland just won a tournament at Varchek. Is he at Varchek? I suppose he is. Okay. I suppose he's at Varchek. The Northern Empire and Batania are no longer fighting. They have a lot of defenders. See, I need... Actually, I have the influence now. I might be able to do it now. Hmm. That could be interesting. Did I level up anything at all? Let's see. And my companions level up on their own. And they're doing fine. Yeah, there's Seo Nog. I'm going to leave him on his own for a bit. I'll go pick up Roland later. Declaring war on the Western Empire. Why? Wait, I don't have the influence? Oh, wow. Okay, I would have to. We'll shoot. All right. I didn't want to do that. I've got to figure out what to do about that. I don't like them being able to declare war without me choosing to do that first. I want to make peace, but I can't do that. Propose peace. Man, that sucks. I'm going to wait a few days for that. I did not want to fight them at all. I had no inclination. Now we've got Sturgia that we have to watch out for. So I'll be very careful with like what I click on in the future with that. I didn't think that that would draw me in. I thought I would be able to easily say no, but they overruled me. <laughs> We're going to have to really talk about that in the future, I think. Okay, let's go over here to the keep. We're going to make a few reforms, I think. I think that would be the right choice, you know. We can't let them just do that. Declaring war all the time. All right, let's see. Who else do we have here? I'm going to come over here instead. I'm going to hold on to the lords that I've captured. Let's sell everything. And over here. It could be that they really have had too much success. And so now they're like, hey, let's just fight wars. I'm not down for that. Of course, it is the Empire, so I'll be slightly more forgiving. And the Empire, they have wronged us so much. 47,000 more dinars. I'm nearly at 3 million dinars. I am nearly there. Okay, let's go back over here to Jaculin. I'm glad that my mini companions are just having a pretty easy time on their own. Hold on, I've got to promote that lake rat... And let's see. Let's go over to my keep. Let's go to my dungeon and see what we can do. I'm going to hold all of you here for now. Enjoy your stay, by the way. 
All right, my town is fully upgraded. Look at that prosperity, it's only going up. We've got over here a potter. We've got a tanner and one iron monger. I'm probably gonna buy some stuff. Yeah, because I mean, we're producing what, olives? We've got sheep, we've got more olives and fish. So I'll probably buy some here later if I'm able to. We've got plenty of stuff around. We're doing pretty well. Have a look around here. We're fighting too many factions, but what I want to do, I don't have the money yet. I wonder how much I would need to actually trade for Galland. Their king owns it. I don't know where he's at. Oh, he's actually in Galland. Okay. Let's go chat with him and just see. I don't have the money for it, but I'm just very curious to see if I could potentially pay for that. That would be really cool. I, I would seriously love that, but I bet I need more money. It has been a while, King. Let's see here. You only own one town. You have plenty of money. Oh, if I double up, I could buy it. But I could just buy a castle, you see. That means I would need a little bit more when it comes to, um, what's it called? A garrison. So I probably won't want to do that yet. But look at the peace that we have now. We're actually living in peace with a bunch of Landians. These lands are very rich, and we own so many different villages now. We only began with only one town. We got a castle soon after. We got a few more castles. I do want Tubalus Castle in Kuyaz. I don't know if I would be able to buy that. I could always try to. It depends on how wealthy they are. Cheaper towns are easier to buy, of course. And I can't just pass time because we're fighting wars. We've got 94 days worth of food. I bought a lot of food, so... Okay, so now we have multiple wars to fight. I've got 435, 441 for influence. I'm going to try to wait it out and see if I can get a peace treaty. I don't want to fight their factions right now. I don't want to. We could stop fighting Batania, but they're getting close to where they're just going to give up. But these other two wars would take a lot longer. Yeah, see that? They're at 92 for exhaustion. They're much stronger, sure, but... They're fighting too much. I'll try to ward off what I can to the east... I am very worried about other enemies, but let's just kind of rest up for a bit. Oh, the, yeah, there's Dysphorian. They just came over to Ortizia. Many of my men have brought recruits to me to lead. Despite that, I'm going to ensure that we win another victory. One day, Ortizia shall belong to us. Then there shall come a time of great peace and calm, one that I'm going to embrace fully. Salam.